Yes. Okay, I am gonna double check. I turned this on. Would you look at that? I did. Hello, YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. Alright. Previously on Curse of Strife. This unlikely party found their way together in the lands of Barovia. One of them searching for his wizard master, the other chasing after a lost love. Or not, or maybe not. <laughs> Meanwhile, a girl that dreamed of this land her whole life finds herself awoken in the very woods of her dreams while her brother just tries to protect her. Though he harbors a dark secret of his own after his father passed, handing him a hidden relic that no one else knows about. Wow. And so, they made their way to the village of Barovia, where after an encounter with a young maid named Irina, who had been bitten by a vampire, the vampire, the Devil's Shroud, they find themselves taking her to the Lachi. After firing a wagon of one to the sun, that they had not paid, despite saying they did. <laughs> <laughs> and for now, they've gotten away with it. They find themselves on the road <laughs> to the Sayer Pool, a small encampment along the road towards the city of Balaki. And that is where we will begin. Actually, can we begin by getting my money? I forgot to grab it. <laughs> like we are on campus. It's like you have no money. It's like you, you have no money. <laughs> Someone paid up. You peasants. Someone paid up. <laughs> It is about mid-morning before noon. You were traveling together in this wagon. The Vistani uh, is leading you in his covered wagon. I am spacing on his name. It was Sergio. No, that was the other one. It is J J J J. Jess, nope, the other oh. one. I got it right here. <laughs> Jer Jer Jeremiah. Jer Jenkins? Not Jenkins. 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 No. Was it Jenkins? Janice. Janice. That's what it was. Janice. Janice. There we go. Janice. Janice is leading you in his wagon. Um, you can't see him, but you can see outside these small windows. Uh, Irina is sat on the bench next to you two, while the two wizards are on the opposite side, uh, pots and pans swaying, clanking against each other as you travel along the road, bumpy, the stiff wagon wheels rocking side to side, and as I'm, I'm just traveling along the morning trail. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, yes? Is this like just, we just left, so there would be no like long or short rest? Correct, you've just trying? left, yeah. Okay. Because I have a lot of youth as well. Yes, sir. And yeah, you just left. Excellent. Okay. For the most part, Irina sits there in silence. Um, but she looks up and she kind of looks to you and then looks to your brother and then looks back to herself, just contemplating her own situation. Hey, Yannis, how long until we get to the camp? What do you say? I can't hear you very well. Can I crawl up front? Uh, yeah, you can stick your head out the window. How long until we get to camp? Uh, camp it is about, it takes about six hours from here. Eight hours is a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Rough. Rough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> stick your head back in the window. Irina. Looks up to you and he says, You're a good brother, aren't you? Try my best to do anything She's lucky. My brother's a dumb fool. 
chasing women. I'm sure he has a good reason. Is she between us? Uh, she's, I, let's say she's on your side. It's oh, okay. seeing you like like this, I guess, situated. Oh, okay. They're on one side of the wagon, okay. and then Irene's sitting here okay. out next to you. I'm going to say, I'm sure he has a good, good uh, explanation for why he disappeared. I'm sure. If it wasn't that, he'd be drowning himself in drink. Is that what he always did before? Ever since father died. Which is couple of weeks ago. Mm. Sometimes that's the only way to get it. That's the fatal way. It's not always the best option, but that's what some people look for. So you have to look for it. Not the best option. Is it the best option? I suppose. How did he die? He was gone. I don't really know. It was, uh, everything was, we were in this past several months, it seems. I would wait some days and everything would be fine. But I knew it took a toll on them. The, the assaults on the house, the, the wolves, the young dead. They came nightly, you know, mm -hmm. clawing, trying to get in. The devil, he did not often come himself, but when he did, I. I could not remember the next several days. Were you always his victim? I don't know. Mm. You know something a little bit about death and our parents dying. Our dad just died too. I'm sorry to hear that. He was sick for a long time. So. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, but he just passed a few days ago too. You know, it's hard. But maybe there's a light at the end of the tunnel for your brother. And maybe a better explanation. Hopefully we can find him in multiple. Well, maybe we can find him there. I do not know where he might have gone. He's chasing this girl. Is this a girl that he's been chasing for a long time? Sometime now, it seems he would would often go to her house in the middle of the night. Her mother was quite protective. I, she's so young. Very naive. Was her house at the beginning of the town? Because we actually met her mother, I think. And she was wailing into the night. That would be her. Mm. The people call her Mad Mary. Yep. She's been like that since, well, got two of them that went missing uh, several days ago. That's when my brother was missing as well, I suppose. Mm. And you think they ran off together? She was quite controlling. It would not surprise me, but at the same time, I can't believe that he would leave me like this mm. in this state. I, I, I want to believe there's something, there's something in him that would stop him from just abandoning me, but in the mom, I don't know. Mm. The bite on your neck. Has that been there before? Other times that the devil has come inside the house? Yes, it's been. Uh, it comes and goes, it seems. Mm -hmm. This last time it's, it's been quite recent, I, I feel. I took, a, I took a, a glance at it in the mirror before we left. I've never seen it. This is bad, it's, it's gotten worse. I don't know, I don't know what he's doing. He's toying with me or something. But whatever he wills, it is. I feel it. I won't last much longer. How are you feeling? Fine now, but weak, I don't know. I'm coming out of the illness. Mm. Sap of energy, but. It comes and goes, you know. Mm. Does he pick other victims in the in the town before you? That he's none that I know, but there are legends that this has happened in the past. Mm. He has other brides. 
consults that he keeps with him in the castle. Mm. Jeez, well, good thing the castle is behind us. Yes, it is. Is there other big vampires like him? Like, in. None like him, but I know. Well, that's good to know. From where we come from, they are just myths and legends. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing like that where we're from. Never seen one. Yeah, nothing like that. No darkness. There's always sunshine. <coughs> the mountains, the trees, the river, and it's always sunny. That would be a nice thought. Are you from the same place as these two? They are, excuse me, but you are dressed quite different than, than the others. Uh, we different place. Yeah. These clothes not make you easy to find and to see in the woods. I, I would fear for to draw much attention to myself, but you know, blazoned and bright red and blues. No need to hide in the woods where we're from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm in the reading as well, so I'm not really paying attention to the conversation. What are you reading? Fairy tale book. I don't have time to read fairy tales here. Yeah. It is a, it is a book detailing a lot of the different creatures we might come upon in this place. How do you know? Well, for one, it does have stuff about vampires in it. Really? Which is quite peculiar. Does it say how to um, how to protect yourself? I mean, there's not a lot of protection uh, against vampires, um, but there is one thing saying that they cannot enter a residence without an invitation from one of the occupants. So how did the vampire get into your house to bite you? I don't know. Unless it was walking in. You must. They can. They are very charming. They, uh, even those you trust, are not immune to a vampire's charm. He could have even charmed you and made you let him in That's from true. outside. That would make sense with the loss of memory. I don't remember. That does oh. sound like a charming person with the eyes and red eyes. Mm. But it all makes it makes very much sense that he does not enter the house often. That is why he must send the undead and the wolves mm. that come they, they claw at the house, they try to burn it more than once. Mm. That's why our windows are all locked up. My father and my brother tried to protect me as best they could, but... Are you talking about just regular wolves, or...? I don't know. From what I've seen, but there's an intelligence about them. They, they do the master's bidding. I'm gonna slowly like drift off because we didn't sleep okay. like the night before, so I'm just gonna probably lean my head against my brother and okay. like slowly doze off. Yeah, she uh, <laughs> takes food out of her, her package or her, her pack and she starts handing it out. Would you like some breakfast? Yes, please. So. And you, <laughs> you sleep or something for like, of course. She hands you too. Um, and let you sleep. Some time goes by. Oh, I handed you one. Oh, oh, you just were not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she <laughs> said it in your lap. <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they're just uh, food rations, some bread, with like dried meat. She's got the right idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. That's so, I so you fall right. asleep? Do you kind of drift yeah, off, or what? What would you be all? I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Got bored of this book. I'm staying. Okay. Yeah. You two <laughs> staying awake? I assume you continue reading. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like skimming it. Okay. Kind of. Looking around in that. Sure. Um, you all, you, you've come out of town. It's been very lightly wooded in this area. It's kind of a little bit more of an open plains, long uh, weeds of grass. Uh, you eventually come to a river where you cross over this rickety old bridge. Um, and some short time after, it leads into a more dense forest. Uh, the wagon continues. It has to veer off the side of this. Uh, archaic road a bit 
as uh, fallen branches and trees have uh, lay in your path. But for the most part, it remains clear until you come to a clearing where an old wooden gallows creaks in a chill wind that blows down from the high ground to the west. A frayed length of rope dances from its beam. The well-worn road splits here, and a signpost opposite the gallows points off in three directions. Barovia, village to the east, Sayre Pool to the northwest, and Ravenloft slash Balaki to the southwest. The wagon continues here, and it slowly turns off to the southwest, uh, or sorry, not to the southwest, uh, to the northwest. Uh, towards the center pool. As it continues, you glance out of the window every now and again, and you see a pair of men, scruffy beards, clothes worn and tattered. Uh, they carry uh, what look like different pelts. They appear to be trappers. They're kind of standing off to the side of the road and uh, you know, let the wagon pass. Just kind of looking at the cart, trying to get an idea of what might be inside the cart, but letting the sun pass unbothered. Sometime later, uh, as you sit in silence, you notice the tapping. It sounds like a bird is walking on the top of the wagon. I'd like to stick my head out the window, kind of see if I can look up at it. You do when it causes it. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Yep. Raven. You said what? So, raven on the roof. Actually, red. I don't like ravens. You don't like ravens? What's wrong with them? Above the trees, a few different blackbirds soaring. They go and they land on some branches. As you look closer, you notice that those branches are filled with dark eyes looking out. Ravens all sitting in the trees, just watching the wagon as it passes. Really, do you see? More than them. I did not notice them earlier. Um, can we speed up, please? We're going the appropriate speed. Just sit back and relax. <laughs> well, I don't really like it. These ravens are creeping me out. They are just ravens. Uh, what did they do to you? About how many are there? Um, there are good, probably 30 plus. They're kind of far off in the More trees. than a kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do my best to lay low and hide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't expect much to happen with these ravens, but if you want to bring them as such, I, I, would, I would pretend you don't worry. I appreciate that, brother. Uh, I don't know how much I'm actually going to do right now. Exalt in myself. I'd actually like to start studying my spell book. Okay. Because I have an ability that lets that be my short rest. Or I can do that, like, in place of a short rest, regain spell slots and stuff. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Um, 
Everyone can roll for a short rest now if they need hit points back. Uh, you can roll and add your constitution mod. Nice. Yeah, uh, spot on there. It is next to. It is right below your hit points. Yeah. Um. The wagon continues for a good while until. The road gradually disappears and is replaced by a twisted, muddy path through the trees. Deep ruts in the earth are evidence of the comings and goings of wagons. The canopy of mist and branches suddenly gives way to a black cloud boiling far above. There's a clearing here next to the river that widens to form a small lake, several hundred feet across. Five colorful round tents, each tent 10 feet in diameter, uh, are pitched outside a ring of four barrel topped wagons. A much larger tent stands near the shore of the lake, its sagging form lit from within. Near the tent, eight unbridled horses drink from the river. The mournful strains of an accordion clash with the streaming of several brightly clad figures around a, bar a bonfire. Uh, the footpath continues beyond the encampment, meandering north between the river and the forest edge. But you see around this great bonfire in the middle, uh, a man playing his violin, and uh, a woman dancing to its slow tune around the fire. It's a sad tune, you can tell. There's not that general cheeriness, it's, it's a lot more calm. Um, as the wagon pulls up, it comes to a stop along the road here. And you kind of feel a lurch forward as a... <coughs> the horses neigh, as uh, you can hear uh, Yanis steps off the wagon and comes to the back. You hear the lofting, or not the loft, but the door latch being fiddled with. And then suddenly it opens. Welcome to the sample. I hope you enjoyed your night. Thank you. You were sleeping in my wagon. It was very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it was worth every last anything. Yes. Yes. It was. Absolutely. Thank, you, Thank you, so you very much. much. It doesn't yeah. seem as cheery as the last uh, encounter we had with Sonny. <laughs> You party all day, you party all night, but then uh, you come home and uh, uh, the party starts again in probably about an hour. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for the ride. You're welcome. Please step out. <coughs> I have to park it. It's just, please. Walk into the camp. I'm so tired. Are you tired? <laughs> <and nervous>? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one walking. We're not walking yet. Trips. Do you, do you follow him into the camp, or do you? I would probably stay with Irina. Okay. She knows. You see, I'm saying. Yeah. True. So we're just we're not out. Stick with them. Okay. So you kind of stand <laughs> there. The the wagon pulls away, uh, and you kind of meander, just blindly stepping out, rubbing your eyes from your sleep. You walk out. Looking around, and you stumble into the middle of the circle where several of the Sami are laid out on their many rugs and cushions. Uh, and you see that same woman, she's dancing, but you hadn't recognized her until you came right up to her to be Kala. She sees you. You can tell that by the way she looks at you, but you didn't recognize her. She just looks the same but different. She's tired, weary from what looks like many nights without sleep. Her hair, not as perfect as you remember. Frays, unwashed. But she dances in her same dancing garb that she used to wear as 
we performed together many years ago. Well, what, two years ago? Yeah. Okay. Um, does she keep dancing? She continues dancing. She sees you, but she continues her song. You can tell in her eyes, having recognized you, you see the tears begin to well up, but she doesn't go to you. She continues to dance. Do we, do we recognize that? Or do we see that Ethan recognizes this person? Um, you let him kind of walk ahead of you. Uh, I guess before we go right to you, what's, what are the rest of you doing? I would go... <laughs> so you notice it's, it's evening now. Uh, if you remember, they don't like to travel at night. No one likes to travel at night. Um, this is the first stop on your way to the Lockheed. It is a multi-day journey, so you have to stop overnight. But it's evening now, the, it, the sun was up, it is about golden hour. Uh, there is the faintest tint of orange in the sky, as if the sun almost wants to peek through the clouds, but it doesn't, as it begins to dip beneath the mountains on the horizon. How about I imagine, Irina, and go, you want to go make some friends? Maybe we can go sit around the fire. Some friends? You haven't met the this Um, not yet. <laughs> I'd be very careful around them. Are they friendly. not friendly? Oh, well, they are too friendly, some might say. Maybe it's friendly. Well, at least we can go find a fire. Hold on to your purses. Let's go. Okay. She goes and walks forward. Uh, you can see she has her bag. Her, she actually flips it around in front of her, and she kind of holds on to it. Uh, just to make sure, as if someone might come up and pickpocket her, okay. she's holding on to it. Uh, y'all, you all well, do this work. I would do the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to, to steal things. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're gonna grab like, that. Um, you walk up to the fire that you're at. So, like, I, I'd like to walk up to him. You kind of come oh, up behind him. You I'm see him kind of... The the fire. Yeah, what are you doing? Cool. You um, see her as nice soon as I see her, I want to like kind of veer off out of the circle and then go behind the tent <laughs> and just okay. go and sit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah I'm gonna follow behind the tent. Okay. We go. You, I want to sit down. You see them? They look like they might be going off to relieve themselves after the long wagon ride. You weren't sure. Okay. And like, what do you think they're doing? <laughs> What do you mean? What, what did you see? You saw him walk up. Side. You saw him walk up first, kind of stand there next to the fire, and then you saw him walk I away. Probably you she saw him I would. I would. I was just oh, saying, yeah. see, like, she's still yeah. dancing. She's dancing around the fire. She's very pretty. She's okay. He can do better. Is there like seats for us? Or I don't know. Like. Uh, yeah. There's cushions that all strewn about. Uh, mm -hmm. Empty spaces. Sure. Uh, a couple of the Vistani look up to you. Uh, they just continue drinking, some of them smoking from a pipe um, that they're passing around. Okay, then I would just like to sit on one of the empty cushions with Irina and Amadeus. Yeah. 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 Uh, as you sit down, you kind of just sit. The fire's nice and warm. Uh, there's not a whole lot of smoke. They built a good fire. Uh, it's drifting the other way off towards the kind of humid breeze that comes off the water. Uh, you see the horses, strong, heavy horses, as they are drinking from the pool. It's a beautiful scene, something that you didn't think you might find in this land. But at the same time, it's something that brings you peace in knowing that you were meant to be here for some reason. Um, let's go into behind the wagon. What are you doing <laughs> here? That's what I came over to ask you about. Is that the uh, Starla? Sturt? What was her name again? Starla. Starla. Yeah. Yeah. Is that her? Yeah. Um, Is that her? I had thought we would have more time until I would see her again. I thought I'd be able to 
think of something to say to her before, before I saw her again. Did you start thinking of something to say to her? No. <laughs> well, you probably should have started that the moment we started leaving it right here. I thought we would have a whole nother day. <laughs> now, I just... You heard that it was a lot of, of, of Ishtani camp. Let's go, she's at the town. Why is she here? Probably to be with the people. What, you, what would you say? I don't know your, <laughs> I don't know your situation. I, I, the only thing I can say is just be confident in it. I don't, I don't know what happened though. I can't exactly advise you very well. Well, let's just say she, she was an important female in my life for a while. I, I assumed that <laughs> from the beginning, but. No advice, no help. <laughs> no, no, did, did you did you hurt her? Did she hurt you? Did, it's just it's complicated. Mutual, it's you give me nothing. You <laughs> ask for my help. You're <laughs> supposed to be smart. <laughs> I am, but you're not. Thing. You're not giving me anything to work with. Uh, just give it a little bit of time. <laughs> behind the wagon. Be confident when you come out, and just say what you have to say. Okay, this, give me a second, well, you go do your thing. Roll for perception, both of you. Uh, 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 I hope you rolled another one. 20. No, no. Unnatural. Oh, okay. Or dirty. <laughs> a dirty 20. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, eight. Eight, okay. Um, you go to turn away. You hear someone walking up behind you. And at the same time, as you turn around, you're startled as uh, Kala, or Starlita, by her stage name, is leaned up against one of the wagons. Like oh. watching us? Or like, she's, like she came up to talk to you, but she no. sees that you're busy discussing how you're going to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 hello there. Yeah. I wanted to tap you and kind of like, oh, uh, excuse me. Thanks. She nods at you, but then doesn't stand. What the hell are you doing here? How are you? <laughs> Hi, my <laughs> Dude, oh my god. So good. Hmm. This is a strange question to ask someone that's you. Uh... What are you doing here? Uh, well, I, I was headed to Milwaukee to, well, to find... Oh, you were just passing by the camp, yes? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> of course. But I, I, was just on my way. <laughs> I, was, I was on my way to find you. Oh, you were. Just passing by, you were here to find me. Yeah. Coincidence, yeah. This was, we were told this is the only place we could stop for the night, so... How are you? How are you? <laughs> How, how have you been? <laughs> I'm doing great. So how are you? I'm alright. Alright, yeah. In Barovia. Traveling dark and twisted roads. What a coincidence that you would happen to well, follow me to Barovia. What are you doing in Barovia? I'm, I'm I don't care that you're going you. to this. Where, where in Barovia? You are in Barovia. This is not the place you come back from. I just... I, I, to be honest, I started to miss you, okay? Because you missed me. I did miss you. <laughs> but that was two years ago. Well, what happened since then? <laughs> you tell me. I wake up one night and you're gone. There was just some things going on. It's hard to explain. The, the things I've had to do, the sacrifices I've had to make. Oh, 
Well, and you want to just move me, past that. Help me understand what. Help me understand what you've been going through. Understand this. She turns and she walks away. Back over to the fire. Did she sit down? Uh, yeah, you see, you see, she okay. walks over to the fire. She kind of storms back over. She throws herself down on the cushion, uh, about maybe 10 feet from you on the same side of the fire, uh, next to some older gentleman there. Uh, he takes one sword, and as he has it up to his mouth, she grabs it from him, wine pouring out across him, as uh, she turns and puts it up to her own mouth, takes a big swig of it, puts it back down. And then tosses it at him again. He grabs it. Can I? Yeah, she hasn't seen she me. Like mad or, oh yeah, she looks. She looks very. Angry. I, I just want. I just want to point out. I'm just on like the other side of the wagon, but I've been there hearing the whole thing. This okay. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can we'll I, go back to you guys in a second. Okay. I'm here. Can I for see it? Well, she hasn't seen me, so I'm gonna see enough. I'm not gonna tell you guys anything because you guys just. Said. I'm gonna stand up and then can I walk up to her? I'm right next to you. Why not? I'm just gonna stand up. I'm not gonna sure. tell you yeah. anything. Right. Yeah. You walk up to her. Okay. I need to walk up to her. And is there an empty spot next to her? Yeah, yeah, there's there's kind of an older gentleman there, uh, and then it's her. She's kind of leaned back on this cushion, just laid out next to the fire, and there's kind of other rugs and cushions all kind of strewn about um, beside her. Okay, I'm going to walk up to her. Uh, can I sit? Can I sit there? She looks up at you. Okay, I can sit down next to her and just stare at the fire and just ask, what's your name? Carla, what is yours? Annalise. Annalise? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty name. Thank you. I liked when you danced, you looked very beautiful. Thank you. It's uh, the one thing I like to do. It's to dance? Do you like to dance? I do like to dance. So we, we uh, have big get togethers where I'm from, where we all dance all together okay. in, in the town. So it's really fun. <coughs> Just different style. Shall we dance? Yes. Dance? She goes, she says, please, dance. <laughs> okay, sure. She, she pulls you up, uh, and the music kind of, it shifts back <laughs> to uh, kind of an uppity, uppity tune. Okay, sure, you have to show me. I don't know. She goes and starts moving her hands about rather fluidly. Uh, it's all very kind of reminiscent. You would call it almost belly dancing with the uh, different uh, ornate jewelries that kind of jingle on her oh, as okay. uh, she goes about back and forth. Uh, the music kind of slows, but she goes and continues shaking him almost as if it was a tambourine, but uh, just bangles on her wrists. She goes, please, here. She goes and takes some of them off and puts them on your wrists. Okay, put um, them on my wrist. As you continue to dance, so you want yeah. to go ahead and roll for, uh, let's roll for performance. Okay. Oh, come on. Natural. Oh. I'm not Oh. Oh. Well, it's just performance. I'm just going to look goofy. She laughs at you as uh, your dancing isn't quite up to the usual cultural norms of yeah. these people. She laughs and she goes, you just need more jewelry, please. She goes and hands you more. And uh, okay, she puts on off, a headband uh, on <laughs> your face. It looks almost like a veil on you. It sits a little bit larger. Uh, and Daniel's kind of down in front of your eyes, making it a little bit difficult to see. But she throws you uh, kind of around the fire. Very Someone well else catches you. Uh, yeah, you can control it. Just like, it. come on, no. <laughs> one, I can't get at this. One, I want to like, let that be like the one. Yes! Oh. <laughs> and then it's well, and then cross. Good. Okay, yeah, uh, you, you start to get the hang of it. Uh, you begin to dance around the fire. Everyone else is kind of laughing. They're having a good time. Other men get up and join, and uh, it becomes that kind of party setting again that you're used uh, <laughs> that, that you're missing. You notice the party is picked up. As you kind of turn around, you see everyone dancing again. Uh, I walk around the corner. Yeah. The confidence thing didn't work very well. Yeah, that was pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the entire thing. I don't think you used the confidence thing like I told you. I tried. You, you did not use it that way. <laughs> you wouldn't get it, man. I wouldn't. I haven't you left. The whole I haven't just left. Have you. Have you even talked to a woman before? Yes. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not like that. Um. <clears throat> what is she doing dancing with her? Is it? She's just gonna make all. She's gonna. I. 
Don't complicate it. Man, I was just going to cut you. I mean, they, she can do whatever she wants. But You're the one who left her. I'm so. going to be traveling with another girl, and then she's going to be... It's <sighs> quite the situation I'm you put yourself in. Lento? Yes. I'm not the one dancing with strangers. I don't see that as a bigger of a problem as you do. Oh, I wouldn't do it myself. I can't away from the fire pit. <laughs> do you want keepers to look at? Like away from the dancing. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a few. There's some covered wagons that are around here. You can see here. There's some covered wagons around here. Uh, let's put your guys' uh, characters out. Oh, yeah. This one? Yeah. <laughs> this is Irina. This one will be... Where are they dancing? Uh, huh? They're all okay. dancing around. Irina has gotten up. She's dancing with you. Um, and Kyra. Uh -huh. um, and they're just Kyra, Kyra. Kyra. yes. Close yeah. eye. Or Starlita is her stage name. Oh, Kala is her name. Might have heard it before too, but Kala is her actual name. Uh, the two of you are behind this wagon over here. Yeah. Let's say you're over maybe behind this wagon. Okay. So you walk off kind of around these tents. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You kind of walk I walk over to Amadeus. I just yeah. need time to cool off. Let's say you're kind of over on this side. Wait, that's not you. This is you walk up to him. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'm keeping a close eye uh, on Hana and making sure okay. no one's pickpocketing her. Sure. Her, so. Yeah, they all just look like they're dancing, having a good time. Drinks are passed around. Um, everyone just enjoying themselves as the song can kind of come to you. It's quite you Yeah, quite. What's one thing I have to? My eavesdropping. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds like they had been together for quite a while, and then two years ago he just left her. Uh, uh, Starlina? Yeah, yes. Um, Carla, I think it was over oh, there. So yeah, you see her dancing around the fire, they yeah. look like they're just having fun, girls being girls, enjoying themselves. So. <laughs> <laughs> they seem quite perturbed with her dancing with uh, Aunt Ray. Oh, they're just having a good time. I, that's, that's what I saw. I see the world, so. That's what my sister is. Always wanting to make friends. Although, her dancing keeps a bit of work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see them dancing around. It looks like they're getting more of the hang of it. Uh, Irina, they all... Uh, Irina has been dancing with you. She kind of drops... Oh, okay. I have to admit, that was kind of fun. I haven't danced in quite some time. That was a lot of fun. Me too, I don't really even remember the last time we laughed so hard. <laughs> and then wait, is Kala still dancing? Yeah, Kala, she kind of, she continues dancing, waving her hands around. She seems kind of caught up in thought as she just continues with the music. It's just kind of slow down, even though you would kind of pause for a little. Okay. Seems to be enjoying yourself out there. Am I by them? Uh, you you walk we're up, sitting, walk yeah, you guys are kind of, you're, are you sitting down? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting, down. sitting down. Yeah, you see them oh, okay. like, sitting next and to you. Yeah, I guess I just kind of like called them. Seem to be enjoying yourself. Guys, it's been so much fun. I made a new friend too. Her name's Kala, mm -hmm. and she's been showing me how they dance here. Where did all this drooling come from? Kala gave it to me. She said it helps you dance better. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Well, why don't you come out here? I'm not one for dancing. Oh, come on. You've never happened, like so dancer. come on, if you think you can do better. Uh, <laughs> you look at your performance. Maybe it's the best I don't. <laughs> yeah, because you know you would not be that good. I think I would do better. Then show, then show me. All right, I'm gonna go out and dance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come yeah. on, Amadeus. Some of the men look at you kind of stand up, and uh, one of them, rather drunkenly. He tries to stagger to his feet, stands halfway up and decides to sit back down. The other one looks at him, jumps up to his feet. Uh, you see Yanis come in and goes, is it time to dance? Yes? Time to dance. dance. Please, shall we? You better roll off. You better again. No, this, this one seems all of you, I'm Yeah, you said so you could do better, come on. They all kind of start clapping and dancing around, uh, much more masculine still. You uh, recognize it as almost like the jigs that you have where you're from in the Moonshe Isles, uh, that kind of dancing. 
Uh, but as the music picks up, go ahead and roll for uh, the points. Baby, I got a minus Get a one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. I got a seven. A seven? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's not proficient. You're kind of, you're watching some of the men. They're much more affluent than you as they go around. Uh, I'm looking around to see if I can learn it, from them. It soon turns into a couple's dance as men take women. One of the women takes your arms. Uh, she dra drags it over her shoulder and pulls you close to her. Uh, go ahead and roll again for a quick point. Pretty bad. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. That could be a lot worse. She tries to guide you. Um, it takes a minute, but eventually, with her help, you kind of end up in the sway of the music, twirling faster and faster around and around. Uh, the dancing speeds up. Good job on the dance. <laughs> Drinks her ice. Right, she suddenly has a bottle. She hands it to you, uh, expecting you. It, it's purple grape mash. Uh, I try to resist. I'm trying to resist. She pushes it against into your hand more, and then eventually she puts it up to your lips, holding it as you kind of you close. Get my close eye. I'm grabbing myself. Okay, go for it. And uh, I just hold on to it. Okay, away from her. Sure, because I'm trying not. She looks at you, kind of disappointed, but the dancing continues. Uh, what was everyone else doing? Well, am I close by? Am I still dancing? <laughs> um, I'd like to head over, back over to the circle, um, and jump in the circle as a cross, like a cross from the start of the Okay. As you do that, uh, the music slows, and kind of comes to a stop. Uh, one of the stop, you, you're standing there a little awkwardly. Uh, the woman lets you go. Uh, you still have the purple great match in your hand, but uh, the dancing kind of continues into a more slow dance. Um, some people return back to their cushions, taking drinks, um, and uh, there seems on the fire now someone begins to hang a heavy metal pot. Uh, looks like it's cooking time for dinner. Um, you're left standing there without a partner, just kind of looking around. Uh, what do you do? You try to dance? The music. I wanted to dance, but to pass the music. I want to go talk to the music guys. Okay. Uh, the music. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a couple guys playing instruments. They're standing over here. Am I still out there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can go back until I go back. Sure. Okay. I'm not there. I agree. You went <laughs> I'm not dancing. Oh, you went out. When you went out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to you. Uh, you, you go up to the well, musicians as they continue playing. I don't want them to get back there. <laughs> <table. laughs> Why don't you uh, play your own music <laughs> if you want to? Please. <laughs> Please. You see one of them holding the violin does this. I'll do this. <laughs> okay, oh, toss it, yeah. You toss it? You toss it to him. <laughs> he jumps forward, catches it in his teeth, and begins to play faster music. He kind of stops. Uh, and <laughs> he stops and lets the other man with him, he picks up the mandolin and begins to play. <laughs> All right, the music slowly begins to pick up. You can kind of turn the song switch to mid cue. I, I want to walk back in, swagger back into the circle across from. Roll for performance. Yeah. <laughs> it turns into a dance ball. Four, fifteen. Sixteen. All right, six. Who's for the dancing? Are you dancing? Go ahead and hold the performance again. You're still sitting there? Yeah. Okay. I'm just watching this. Yeah. Hi. No. Not well? Five. Okay. You look like you're having a whole lot of fun. Though it's not proficient, you're enjoying yourself with uh, kind of dancing around Kala. Kala has turned into herself again and begun to dance just by herself. Uh, the Irene is with you as you kind of circle with each other when it ever becomes too awkward. You laugh to each other and kind of continue. <laughs> um, I'm you. trying to attract Colin's attention. <laughs> All right. Um, 
She continues dancing to the music all by herself. She looks over and sees you and kind of turns her head and begins dancing in the other direction. As it picks up, I want to use Find Familiar to cast my to create a rattlesnake that will um, that's like wrapped around my arm and rattles to the music instead of the tambourine because I don't really have much to worry about. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do that. Uh, some of the men kind of jump like, Whoa! Why did you do that? You had to teach me that trick. Oh my god. Okay, so everyone kind of continues to dance. Like, yeah, it's, it does not hurt to call us that. She notices, but um, the other men and other women there are all dance and kind of cheer with you until eventually the music changes. As well. um, you don't feel like you've gotten any closer to uh, drawing her attention in a positive light, but you feel like you have impressed others around her. Maybe, maybe she thinks highly of you for it. Maybe not. You can't really tell. Is she at least looking over or glancing over at all? Uh, not really. After it slow, that right? one's time, that one's time. Yeah, it, it kind of slows down. Okay. So, Can I grab Paula's hand? Sure, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, I'll say sure. What, what do you do? Can I just grab her hand and be like, do you want to come sit for a little bit? Not really. Are you sure? Want to dance for a bit? I'll dance with you. She kind of continues, she gets to teach you how to dance. Um, let's go ahead and roll for dexterity. Dexterity. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. She begins to teach you uh, some proficiency in dancing. Um, almost like dance lessons. She shows you, no, no, you move your hands this way. And, and that's it. Exactly. You sway just in. Dance lessons. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, She's distracted herself completely, and uh, you're kind of left standing there. I don't know anything yeah. of that, and that's why I'm doing it, because I don't know. I want to start working my way towards the, around the circle, but slowly as I'm still dancing. Okay. You continue dancing, you're doing that. Uh, you've drawn much attention from other people. One of the other women kind of come up to you and goes, Wow, that is very impressive. You have to show me. Would you care for some wine? Oh, at some point, a little bit of it and okay. just, just small sip. You do that. You recognize it to be the cheaper one. Um, but you take a swig of it and uh, it's strong. Here's no Here's no uh, I'm gonna tell her the party's getting late. Let's bring out the good stuff. The good stuff? Uh, do you have money to pay for the good stuff? It's a party. It's a party. He says it's a party. <laughs> this is very sweet. I tell you. Uh, the wine is not free, even at parties. I hand her the bottle back and go back to dancing. She goes and turns away offended. Uh, one of the men kind of walks up and tells you, that was a good one with this snake. Yeah. He hands you uh, almost a new bottle, Red Dragon Crush. Uh, you recommend you the better of the, of the wines that they have there. So I think I'll become intoxicated if I were to drink that. If you were to drink that, yeah, you've had one meal this day. So, you're going to feel it rather quickly. Okay. Um, let's go to you two now. Uh, what are you doing? You're kind of sitting We're discussing there. How, how poorly this is going to end. <laughs> <laughs> as, you're, as you're discussing that, you see a more portly gentleman dressed in several scarves he has layered around his neck, uh, a, a gold-trimmed vest, purple velvet, um, he comes up to you, a large gypsy man. Your your clothes that you wear. These clothes. I've seen these clothes before. No, don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. You are a you are a wizard, no. Don't you lie to me. I've seen clothes like this before. You you know the magical arts of wizardry, yes? I I do, yes. Oh fantastic. I, would you like to hear a story? I've been waiting, dying to tell it, and you look like the man that would love to hear a story. Oh, sure, uh, yes, I would love to hear a story. Of course, you can hear the story too, for free, yes? I for you, it costs one copper. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, it's a good story! Yeah, 
Well, I, 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 <laughs> what you want to know? I do want to know. I don't have any copper on me. You don't need oh, I take okay. anything. I'll take a copper, or gold. I don't. I certainly. I, I, I got gold. Of course. Your friend is paid for you, and you pay for your friend. Hey, one copper is nothing for a story. Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you this story. This is a story of great power, great magic, crescendo. Not so long ago, a mighty wizard came to this land. It was a year ago, about. I remember it like it was about a year ago. Of course. <laughs> he stood exactly where you were standing just now. Well, a very charismatic man. Not quite as charismatic as that one with the snakes. But he was a man that was boisterous, a man of dignity. He was a man that had power in his steps. He thought he could rally the people of Barovia against the devil's throne. He stirred them with thoughts of revolt and bore them to the castle en masse. When the vampire appeared, the wizard's peasant army had fled in terror. A few stood their ground and they were never seen again. The wizard and the vampire cast spells at each other. The battle flew from the courtyards of Ravenloft to a precipice overlooking the Zer Falls, just up river. I saw this battle with my own eyes. Thunder shook the mountainside, and great rocks tumbled down upon the wizard. Yet his magic helped him survive. Lightning from the heavens struck the wizard, and again he stood his ground. But when the devil's throne fell upon him, the wizard's magic was nothing. I saw him thrown a thousand feet from the falls to his death. I climbed down to the river, you know, to search the wizard's body, maybe for a little bit of this or a little bit of that. Mm. You know, yes. but his body could not be found. It was washed away by the river. What do you think? That was your copper? Indeed, it was. I knew it! Yes! Another successful story. You tell me, you find another person that would like to hear this story? Just one copper out of the thing. I, I, I will keep my eyes out for anyone in my oh, thank you. Story. I have other stories too, if you care. Uh, another copper for me? Uh, could I hear what the story might be about? Oh, oh you want a little tease of this story! <laughs> this next story is about a boy. A boy lost in the woods and a wolf. That is all I give you just by yourself. I think, I think we're good. We yes. don't have any more copper. Oh, just stay in between one. Well, that is fair enough. What are you going to He goes and kind of staggers up. And goes and sits down, looking at his copper he has in his hand. Huh? Pop is it? I greatly appreciate that. Yes. I'm just curious why I don't have a The story did seem important. It sounds like it could be some kind of clue to my last potentially find him, but what just being watched. Let's go back to you. What are you doing? You're just trying to get closer to Kala as she's dancing at Emily. So, um, my minor illusion is that I can make sound for a minute. Okay. Should I use that to play it and make a song to play my music? <laughs> you can. You do that. Rather abruptly, they start looking around. Where's that music coming from? What is this? The music kind of stops from the other. <laughs> they continue to play for a minute as the music's over, play each other, and they stop. Call up. Dancing with you. 
stops, rolls her eyes, <laughs> looks over her shoulder. Can I ask her what's wrong? What happened? He's a showman. I thought. Him? I'm still dancing at the snake. <laughs> I'll see him. <laughs> Do you know him? I didn't know him. Or I thought I did. I see. He's far enough away, right? Yeah, he's kind of across the fire, yeah. She kind of stands just watching him. <laughs> she continues, she locks eyes with you and just stares. She's going to stare you down. Deborah it looks almost like the puffery of some sort of mating ritual of, of birds or something strange. That's <laughs> Archaic. Bizarre, but she's at least paying attention to her. That's as good as it continues. I'd like to just continue it for a little bit, and once it gets close to a minute, I want the music to start picking up and go faster to like the crescendo. And then, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, yes, you're a you bit much right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and when it comes to like right before a crescendo, I'm gonna put a mouthful of the red dragon do a twirl and create, you change the music into an abrupt stop and then a dragon roar and I'm gonna spit the red dragon into the fire. That's okay, so like, okay, nice. you do that and watch out. So, up in flames, everyone kind of jumps back and roars into the applause and laughter. <laughs> this man, this man here, he knows how to, he knows our ways. And how she says it. Of course he knows how to wait. She shakes her head. She, you notice she kind of chuckles to herself as it was impressive. But there's something in her heart. It just, it's weighing on her. I'm just going to kind of smile and nod and then walk out towards them. Towards them? Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. She goes and she kind of walks off uh, past the wagons. Oh, do I see that? Yeah, you see her coming there. I'm going to walk past the... I'm going to yeah. skip one of this guy a little bit. She's going to walk by and be like, come on. Okay, you do that. Turn. Your music's slowing as you walk off. Wait, so he's walk, like walking past us? He walks yeah. past you and then oh, goes you're back out that one. Okay. across the wagon. Gotcha. You find her uh, at the edge of the forest, over here in the little grass patches. There's a horse over here uh, tied up to a tree. But she goes and begins to brush. See, I too have been through quite a bit the past two years. It seems you've learned more than one mystery. Quite a few, actually. She turns to you, uh, and she <laughs> she puts her hand on your lapel. She pulls it down, straightening your jacket. Uh, <laughs> new jacket too, no doubt. Of course, almost a whole new show too. She grabs your arm, pulls up your hand by the cuff. Same old sleeves, though. There's a lot of tricks in these sleeves, I think. I don't know if I can call them tricks. Just different ways to be seen. You and I have a shoulda come to Barovia. Well, it's not the kind of any of them. Least of all outsiders. Well, you're here. What, what, I am not an outsider. <laughs> well, I figured it would be safe enough. Barovia is not safe to anyone. Not even me. What's why? <laughs> I have protection from the laws of this land. We can come and go as we please. You are not this time. You cannot come and go. Well, why why do you come and stay? Why are you My family is here. No, 
how I thought that we were family not too long ago. Apparently not. I'm sorry for what happened. I just, I can't really explain myself. You know, I believe you. You are sorry. You never loved me. How you loved how much I loved you. That's all you ever cared about. The crowd, the audience. You're different. I cared about specifically you. Yes, the crowd, the audience, the eyes, they all mean so much, but you meant more than all of them. You can say that all you want, but your actions say that you left me. That, that I left. is what happened, but that happened then. What can I do now? I'm not the same. I'm so much more. You say <laughs> You say you're not the same. How can I possibly prove to you? I don't know what to say to you. I spent so much time just waiting for you to come back, waiting that. Well, I am back. And I could be for good. You see, there's something more. Um, a greater hurt that she just can't let go beneath the surface of your conversation. What what what's happened to you these past two years? You used to be so happy, so full of joy. It seems like this whole place has gotten to you. Maybe it'd be best if we were. She goes and turns away. Um, I was watching her before she wants to have a tent. Okay. <laughs> you do that for some time? Yeah. Um, we're going to go back to you, Ben. <laughs> sure, hope he kept that confidence in the conversation he's going to have. <laughs> do you really think he did? In spots, probably. In spots. The entire time. <laughs> Yanis, he was dancing for a bit, drinking, clearly. Madalena, yes. What, what did you say? Madalena? Madalena. What? what about her? The queen of the gypsy. You, she will see him now. I assume that you know. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, oh, oh. You are in for a treat. Madaleva, we'll see you now. Just the tent is that way, the biggest one near the water. All, all, all of us? Am I there next to you? Am I next to us? All of you. Yes. Oh. You're standing there next to Irina. Okay. Um, <laughs> even, even our friend. Yes, Ed, where is your friend? Go find him and bring him. Uh, I'll, I'll go get him. You guys go to the tent and I'll meet you there. Okay. I don't know. Kind of goes and swaggers and sits down. Yeah, she follows you. Let's go. She looks a little unsettled. The tent glows with firelight from the inside, um, waxing, waning light. 
Yeah. Uh, you walk you find your friend. As you two, I mean three, begin to walk <clears throat> towards the tent. Okay. You find him petting a horse by himself. <laughs> How'd it go, Clinton? Progress. 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 Wow. That's, <laughs> that's good at least. It went well then or progress. <laughs> Cheerfully, I say. Cheerfully. <laughs> well, sounds like you can see I'm happy as a horse. I didn't realize that was an expression. Um, uh, one of the, the the queen of this place is calling for us, apparently. Of course, why sh wouldn't she after that show? I don't think it's just about you. Otherwise, she would have called just you. But <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Um, okay. <laughs> You stand outside the tent, there's a sense of reverence walking towards him. The music slowly seems to fade as your focus grows on that waxing and waning light from within the tent. Uh, the other two, they walk up close to you. You're all there. Okay. Shall we head in? Okay, well, knock. I knock or something. then. I, I just walk in. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see the tent. It's like a tent. Yeah. 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 Oh. You pull back the tent. <laughs> I know, but I don't, I don't want to just open it up. Apparently. If you're inside, there's a table covered in black velvet, a crystal ball sitting in the center, and behind it, an old woman. Uh, hello, are you Madam Ava? You called for us? You see her skin wrinkled. She's ancient, and older than any woman you've ever seen before. Ugh. She looks up, her eyes, without any whites, filled with black, she looks up from her crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> I have been expecting you. Please, fill in. Come, take a seat and bring your friends. Uh, oh, okay. Uh Come on in, you guys. Okay, we all sit down. <laughs> yep, and you sit. See. She oh. takes out a deck of cards. Travelers come here often. Some of their own will, and some not. She takes these cards. She lays the cards out. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> it's slippery here. <laughs> 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 oh no. She takes them. Yeah, you don't yeah, need to She takes them and hands them to you. Please, everyone must touch these cards. Don't read them, it's poisonous. The future. <laughs> Hangs in the balance. <laughs> and the fates. Except that, that is the last. 
Do not touch the middle. That is the card of the enemy. Now, Irene goes and she touches the card. You stand there, you roll it. One of you reveal the card. This card tells of ancient knowledge, where secrets you know not to desire may be found. It turns me. You must go to a place of dizzying heights where the stone itself is alive. Take another card, child. Sheds light on the one who will help you greatly in battle against darkness. I see. You must look not for one of this land. One who lives among the Vistani. He has suffered a great loss. This haunted by dark dreams. Help him, and he will help you in return. Please take another card. The tales of a powerful force for good and protection. A holy symbol of great hope. I see a boy afraid to lose the little he has for the one the ravens follow. Never refuse wine. Please, another card. Irene really comes. <laughs> Flips the card. The Paladin, yes. This card is a card of power and strength. It tells of a weapon of vengeance. A sword of sunlight. I see, oh, I see a sleeping prince. A servant of the light and a brother of the darkness. The treasure lies not with the body, but with the spirit, hovering over quiet waters. And at last, this next card will tell you the location of your enemy. But this is where you will find it. Uh, the future is hidden from me. <laughs> I was wrong! I was wrong! This card does not lead you to the devil, but... The devil... He is already here. <laughs> <laughs> the devil is gone for you. Oh, you must leave now. You must go. I did not make that. I should have been safe to go. I don't need that. I don't need that. The rest of the state. With my future, my cards, you said you something that I don't Darkness understand. Darkness sweeps in, and all the candles in the room go out. <laughs> Madam, I need to. The crystal ball begins to glow with sickly green. What did you say? I don't understand. The the the. Child, the something. Something. You speak in the riddles for a reason. The fates wish not to tell what is plain to us. 
will see the better nights of the future. You are strong. Your future has been written once before and twice, three times or more. haze of pleasure as he swirls her dancing he draws her in again presses firm to her neck forcefully you see her her throat just uh, seize for a moment as she smiles and he releases her again his smile red as he looks up again he lets Irene go and she continues to dance around the fire at the end of the sun Right. He takes a handkerchief and begins to wrap his neck. It could be no one else. But the Count Strahd runs on him. My honored guests, I would so love to welcome you to my home. Welcome. Barovia. Well, please tell me, weary travelers, what is it that you seek in my land? You have come from so far away. And you come so willingly. He smiles, looking at Irene as she looks at him. He spins his fingers with her. Beautiful bird.
many of them. I was so forward and proud as well. Glenfin the Magnificent. Glenfin is a good one. You look to be skilled in the magical arts, no? Yes. <laughs> Interesting, I dabbled myself. Anything you would be willing to teach? <laughs> <laughs> to the right <laughs> uncle! <laughs> I could see, why not? You are a man of ambition, no? Of course. Interesting. Ambition is in short supply these days. It seems so. Please, it is so rude of me to, uh, <laughs> Would you care for something to drink? He goes and takes up a goblet from one of the Vistani and hands it to you. As he looks at you, his eyes, they seem to shift as if they're staring at you anew, as if he hadn't noticed before. What? He hadn't recognized you. Can I say, what are you looking at? He drops the goblet. Oh, excuse me, I apologize, I must be drunk. <laughs> and the sign comes up uh, with another goblet and hands it to you. Take it. I look at Amadeus. Thank you. Of course. Drink, whatever. I hand it to Amadeus. Our apologies for not uh, introducing ourselves on first arrival, but what are you doing here just to introduce yourself to us? I play the part for the gracious host. Very uh, well. <laughs> in the lands of Barovia. It still seems an eternity is not enough time, no? I bid you journey safely. We will see each other again. To ambition. He looks at Irina, snaps, and she faints to the ground. It's as if she was a puppet on strings that have been dropped in that minute she ragdolls to the floor, strewn amongst the grass. I, I'm gonna run and like grab her, like just be there on the ground. The ground. You see him fade up into the trees. You notice he's floating until in the one minute he turns and the sway of his coat flaps and flutters into thousands of bats. <laughs> they fly out into the trees of the night. Everyone stares up at the moon. The sky now empty. Until you notice a raven sitting up in the tree. Did you guys see that? Fly I'm looking at a raven and you just saw a vampire. Okay. I have bigger fears than that, so raven's way worse. It's not a person. <laughs> I find the vampire much more terrifying. Is he gone? Than the raven. I'm holding Irina and trying to wake her. It, it appears that he's left. He kept staring at me. You guys not see that? He kept staring at me. I'm a deist. Did you not he, see that? Did he recognize you? He didn't say he recognized me. Did he not? I didn't say that. Oh, he didn't say that. No, he didn't. Oops. What? It, it could be from the looking, past. It was I'm just sure it was a character. Well, it could you be know, the the Sami thing. Catch look. a lot of guys' eyes on us. No, yeah. oh, Amadeus, this was different. I could tell by the way he was looking at me that it, Maybe it, it had something to do with what the woman said in the tent. It felt like he's seen me. You don't want to me. share that with us. I don't know. I tried to get her to say more, and she didn't say anything. She just. You know, you could say something. Why don't you tell yeah. us that you're Vistani? <laughs> I'm that seems not. Like an important detail. I'm not. I'm not Vistani. Or I guess I, I guess I could be. I don't know. I don't know. I was I was adopted. 
You know, she, you. <laughs> Amadeus doesn't know. He would have, Amadeus <laughs> doesn't know. He would have told me by now. He doesn't yeah. know either. I don't. No one knows where I came this from. This is a surprise to me as well. Our father just found us. You or found are me. A wealth of mysteries and no answers. That's an unfortunate part of our family. I don't yeah. understand what you said. Amadeus, <laughs> do you know anything? I don't know. Um, she could have been my future. She's a crazy old lady. She said it was Can I look stopped. back at the tent? She could have been wrong. Like, it's dark. Look at us. We know she's yes. 500 years old. Yes. Shh, I guess okay. she's just had a lot of power. One of his final years was saw in person. The way he was looking at me is like he's seen me before. Hey, other woman. Is she getting her guys? Is she like getting up yet? Or is she still no, she lies there still. Irina is strewn out. You see her neck is puckered and red. There's veins blue. Heavily pitted. Two black holes in her neck, swollen. Obviously quite friendly. And veined. You can tell she's quite ill. Is Kala around? Um, you don't see her. Does anyone know how to how to help us? How to help her? Sometimes with a sun of sand, you may kind of look. Any way to wake her? How do we help her? She has vampire I mean, marks it, on her on her neck. It, it, I mean, based on last time, it seems like she just kind of wakes this up worse. afterwards. Do you see? Look, look at her neck. It's way worse this time. Some of the men they kind of just walk off. You see, uh, Janet standing there. He's still drinking from a bottle. What do we do? You can't stay here, no. Uh, we will not. We will not meddle with the Lord's will. Well, the he, Lord obviously wants her alive, so so maybe you could help us out. He wants her alive. How do you guess this? Because last time it happened, he left her alive, and this time he probably still wants her alive. I will be doing no guessing for the devil. You feel free to guess as you will, but uh, I suggest you do it somewhere else, somewhere that would not get me involved. Then take us the rest of the way to the city, yeah? Maybe the rest of the way to the city. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, how about I do that when she is not with you? Well, it's either she stays here with her. Oh, she is not staying here, no. You must take her somewhere else. I have another question for you. Do you know anyone in this camp who has money? Bad nightmares that haunts them. Mm -hmm. Nightmares are common. But ones that are like, it, does he seem haunted by them? Haunted, it's different. Like a haunted man. We need to find a haunted man here. Yeah, sorry, is this about what Madam Ava said? Possibly. I do not know such a man here. Do you know who we might talk to to figure that out? It is the man haunted by a dream, but it's rather unspecific. I'm sure you'll find many people with nightmares. Mm. You know where Kala went? Kala? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, uh, probably her tent, I think. Do you know where her tent is? Can you show me? Uh, it is... You can tell he's had a bit to drink. One of those. Probably the second last one, but there are others in there. They are sleeping. You don't want to disturb them. It's okay. I think she'll help us a little bit more. She's been here longer. Maybe she'll know. She'll have the answers. 
We're not leaving until March, just, uh, right? You cannot stay here. Just say, I will, I will be gone soon. How okay. long do we need to be going? Yeah, as soon as you can, please. Ugh. He kind of turns and walks away as he doesn't want to get any more involved. Uh, you see him kind of walk off to where he parked his wagon, uh, which is... Let's see if I can. Make sure we need to go to pay for the supplies that we're taking. He won't pay for the supplies. He's away. He may have well, he walked away. There's, there's no way we're leaving. Now that you're going, I mean, there's... Yeah, I, we have to get yeah, to the city. Her. The wagon out. route is the best way to get to that. But also, he kills the captain. Not so good. We just need to find a way to break her up. I think well, we should go ask Kala. That, there's room for the water on her. <laughs> okay, you try it. There are water. He won't take us to the city with, if she's with us. Stay here because she's with us. So there's. What do we do? We need to leave. We can't. She helped yeah, us so we, much. We can't just leave and get on the ships to wherever you want to take us. Why can't we take her with us? There's horses. Do you want to walk the rest of the way? I mean, do not want to walk the rest of the way. Would I come up with a better solution? Because I don't see one. Could one of us take her on horseback? And follow the carriage. Do one of you know how to ride a horse? We both do. I don't, so I guess it. Do you know how to ride a horse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just take it back. We could follow the carriage if you would be more comfortable with that. We just have to ask him. But there's you also the thing of. Him, then. <laughs> We also need to find the guy in the town who's haunted by dreams. She could help finding that person. He said he would. This is an important key player in whatever. She can what just go to some Hassan and go. Just, she never said it. Yeah, Glenfin. Why does he need to be friendly with Kala? Go talk, talk to her. Oh, no, go talk to the carriage rider. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Talk to Kala, not the carriage rider. No, no, no. He's clearly embarrassed. He goes off to see the carriage rider. You send your own fire. Don't convince him. He's best. Okay. <laughs> He's at least going to talk to the carriage person. Okay. Know. He goes off. We can go off. Crosses the road. Yeah. What do you do? It seems like you guys should say that. I'll go talk. Much better. No, I'll go talk to Kelly no. with you. No, don't. No. You don't need to come with me. I don't care. You're not you going. don't need to come with me. She probably won't want to see you on. I know this isn't a choice. I'm it is a choice. You. Nope. You're. You're. What are you gonna do? We like can't keep him here, please. We learned. I can go on my own. I can go on my own. I just need people to watch. No, you can keep a it's distant watch of me. The, you can see her temper from here. Too far away. No, it's not too far away. She's not gonna like it. She's gonna love you. If, please. If I if I'm over there, can I see her? Or if I, if we stay here, can I see her? If you stay here, can you see who Anna? Oh, it's ten. I guess oh, I walk to the tent? Um, yeah, I okay, see if you're walking to the tent. You'd have to walk maybe to the other side of the fire. You could linger by one of these. Um, you could linger by the carriage over here. Okay. On the base. We can let her go. I can use the spell to quickly talk to her to get her to leave as soon as we see something that she needs to be done. If there even is such a thing. See? Unlikely. I still don't like it. Prefer to be over there. I, can keep I don't know why you have Doesn't to go matter. alone. This why do you have good. to go alone? Because I know, Kelly, you know nothing. Yeah. I don't have to be in the tent with you. I don't know if she'll like you around. She won't see me. I'll just be right outside. You can On the day, I do think that it would be better if you were over here. I'm very I thought you were on my side. Well, I am, but I I do think it'd be better if she just talks to Kyle alone. She's friends with us. Thank okay, you. but if I see anything, I'm looking it towards you. Okay, that's fine. Have my, I'll have Watch my, Irina, please. I will have my letter opener ready to go. Okay, I may be a doctor. I'm going to go to Kyle's tent. <laughs> okay. You go off towards Kyle's tent. You think he pointed at this one? Okay. 
Uh, do you relearn? Do you stay by Irina? She's passed out. Yeah, we'll stay by Irina. Okay. okay. You both do? Okay. Well, you Amadeus is probably Amadeus, just watching me. Amadeus, do you, do you go to watch? No, you're not going to watch Irina. You're going to watch me. He's staying I, I, I'm going to move just so that I can watch her. So if I need to, I can okay. uh, You come to like maybe this wagon, kind of watch. I will watch right her farther. Okay. And it goes up to the front of the tent. Okay. Uh, the tent is dark. It doesn't look like there is any light on inside, just from the outside. From the outside. Can I speak in and say, Kala? Uh, it's, it's Emily. Okay. This is, just poking in. Kala, all right, is this your tent? Hello? You see in the corner a small <laughs> candlelight. The tea light is on. You see Kala's face. She looks up. You see her go and up the covers. She stands up and uh, walks over. I'm so sorry to disturb you so late. I just had a question. You met Madame. Madame? Yeah, I love that. She mentioned that there's a man here who is haunted by dreams. And I know a lot of people are haunted by dreams. But this is very What did she say exactly? She said that a man is here and here in this town? I believe so, or from what I remember. I was also a little she said something else about something that I wasn't sure about. And so I was a little frightened by that as well. I'm trying to think of anyone here that has personal nightmares. I think of the Rovians that were going. Say it was a Pistani? Actually, she said I was. Isn't that funny? And it's not. Not the man was never wrong. Never wrong. She was never wrong. She couldn't read my future. And well, if you were yes. a Pistani, then she could not read your future. We might be sisters, yes. Sisters? No. Oh. I, I guess we could be. I don't know anything about I was. I don't know. I was adopted. Well, there you go. Maybe you are. I guess so. Well, okay. Also, um, just one more thing. Irina was bitten by the Count. Strahd was here. Yes, he was bitten. And he made it known. He was here, of course. And he bit her. And I don't know how to wave her. And our carriage driver won't take us if we have her, but we can't leave her. She's helped us so much. I don't know what to do. I wish I could help you, Mom, but I I did not get involved. With her? I did not advise you to get involved either. So what do we do with her? Just leave her? She's going to be here in the camp, though. We cannot leave her here. We have to. They will send her down the river first. So how do we take her? And then some of your friends bring her back to the village for a little bit. It is at least another night in the woods to go to the lackey. Okay. Well, thank you for everything and for helping. Of course. We'll be off. Hopefully we'll see you again. We'll see you again. You hear um, someone start to cry. Do you have a child in there? Well, Emily wants to marry her. She must excuse me. You can tell she's just exhausted, absolutely right. She turns around, goes back inside the tent. Shh, quiet, quiet, oh, please, quiet. Shh, it's okay. And then I'll just and then close the tent and walk back. Okay. Well, how long ago did you leave, Carla? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna now go to you in a different place. You walk across yeah, the street, yeah. uh, the street, the small path, uh, heavily rutted, heavily overgrown. Dennis has his wagon parked over there. Uh, you see him in the back of his wagon as the doors kind of close. He doesn't notice that you arrived. Yeah, Dennis. 
You see a face come to the window as he looks out. He opens the shutters. What do you want? Remember when you told us you'd take us to the next city over? I do recall, yes. Are you backing out on our deal? Or what's going on? I don't know. What do you speak of? He goes and closes the doors. <laughs> The horse still attached to the front of this cart. Yep. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. No, it's it's not, but it's near the front of this cart. Okay. It's tied off to one of the trees. Don't do it. Wait, we're not there. Cart. <laughs> uh, you can start. Uh, I don't believe you are proficient in this, um, but you can go ahead and roll for. Let's let's see. Let's roll for animal handling. Before I do that, actually, before I go tie him up, I'm gonna go back to these guys. Say, all right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm driving drive you back. back. What do you mean? Did you talk to the. You're still gone for a moment. Janice? Oh, okay. How's it going? Oh, you're still watching me then. Uh, but you hear him come. <laughs> Smooth. I'm addicted to We just right gotta hook up the horse and I'll drive and we're good to go. We are. You convinced him to let us do that? <laughs> Are you? You, you, you arrive and come up. I'm not right? stealing it. We all. Okay, I'm walking in now. <laughs> See, I told you I was just fine. Did you learn anything? I did. What? What is that? Did you learn? A few interesting things about my life. <laughs> <laughs> talking on our way to the car, we should probably head out before. Oh yeah, um, uh, yes. Let's All go. Right. <laughs> Any information to share with the rest of us? Um, I, no. Oh. Not right. really. Alright. Um, um, oh, she did say, sorry, she did say yeah. that um, I really can't stay here, and if she does, they'll throw her in the river. So, <laughs> that's kind of our options right now. Who is she? Who is who? You said she said... Oh, my friend, you guys uh, <laughs> my friend. I was talking to someone. Right it was Colin. <laughs> 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 it was. I didn't want to say because I saw there was something between you two. I just didn't know what. I'm just going to head towards the cart again. <laughs> I'm going to grab Irina. Okay. Uh, yeah, you go to pick up Irina. Do you help her, I assume? She can't live by herself. I'll go help her. Yeah, okay. I bet you ain't good. Hands and feet. I mean, you could, like, I don't know. <laughs> roll for it. Yeah. yeah okay. Can I roll for Actually, it? together, I won't have you roll for it. Unless you want to carry your virus. I'm going to try to carry it. Okay. Uh, and then, carry uh, by watch yourself. me. One. No. What is it? 14. Oh, dang. All right. It takes you a second, but you're able to kind of hack her up. He gets there, so uh, that you, you want to take your life. You need help? But I'll carry her. You eventually, it takes you an extra 30 <laughs> seconds or so. You kind of shuffle her under the car. And uh, carry oh, yeah. her over your shoulder. All right, okay. she, she dangles. All right. Okay, I'll have you double check the body, and I'll we'll have it over the car. Damn. Okay, um, all right, I'm ready. All right. Just, your jewelry rattles mm -hmm. as uh, it kind of. Oh yeah. Oh, sure I'm I'm my jewelry off. I might keep it down back there. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> carrying, I'm carrying. I'm carrying that ring off. As you walk across the street, you see a face poke out the window and What do you want? I'm trying to get some sleep. It's Yanis. Mind if we stay with you? You stay with me? <laughs> uh, yes, in fact, I do mind very much and not with her. What did I say? You get rid of her. Go back to She's Gorobia not doing anything right now. I know she's not doing she's anything. She's not dangerous. I don't care about her being dangerous. I want nothing to do with this. This is the Lord Strahd's problem. It is, uh, it is his own his own thing. I wish nothing to do with it. <laughs> They're going to throw her in the river if we, don't leave, if we leave her. That is, uh, that is probably <laughs> wise. You should throw her in the river yourself. Then I would not have to touch him. Here, please, do that. He goes and goes to the window. Yeah, roll for next Hey. Yes. Oh, crap. <laughs> you know, raise your hand, you end up slamming uh, on the shutters and goes, Don't touch my wine. He opens, <laughs> as he opens the door, I'm casting sleep. Here we go. Okay, let me just double check and get it right. It's just like rolling like yeah, 4d6s. Yeah, 5d8. 
Sorry, did you cast 5d8? Yeah, holy cow. Does yeah, he have more than 24? Let me see. Uh, I'm looking. <laughs> I gotta get that one myself. You have to know the health. 32. Uh, that was a 5. You have to know the health. 32. I do. Yeah. Oh my god. He had more hit points than 32. I know. Oh, he does not. Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. He falls asleep. He falls asleep. in the cart, right? Oh, yeah. You see him, his, his candle lights are still on. You just hear a. Yeah. He hits a pan on the way over. down. So let's load her up. Thank you. Can you help me tie the horse to the cart? Of course. <laughs> okay. okay. We tie the horse to the cart. I keep him in the cart. <laughs> and uh, I'll. Who's driving? I'll drive, I guess. Unless you want to drive. I'll, I'll drive. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, is there you... enough space in the driver's seat to have two people? Yeah, there's, it's a bench. So it's a, it's a cushioned bench, mm -hmm. uh, red velvet. It's rather ornate. I like this setup kind of there with Amadeus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the horse is not hooked up. Who's hooking up the horse? Oh, uh, Amadeus. Okay. Yeah. Um, Should I roll? Yeah, let's go ahead and roll for animal handling. Or me. I'm gonna be helping him too. Just okay. Whatever. You can <laughs> come add come on. on, baby. You can add your. Do you have a bonus animal handling? Uh, plus two, so eleven. Yeah, three. I have okay. animal handling too. If you can't okay. do it, I'm gonna plus three. Okay. Does that work? Um. Yeah. Okay. You'll add your proficiency, or not your. You'll add that bonus to him. Um. Okay. So, yeah, you you hook up the wagon. You think you've got it about right. It takes you a minute. As you're doing so, what is everyone else doing? I get the I go inside with Irina. Okay. I'm just waiting. And I'm just okay. maneuvering just her down. Outside. I just stand, I just watch. Helpful. Oh, this is Braylon. We could have used her help. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This is it's just fun to watch. The horse kind of smarts and just <laughs> <laughs> it goes and kind of paws at the dirt, <laughs> unfamiliar hands and all. Uh, but it seems rather compliant as you get it in place. You take the reins. Uh, you're sitting up in the driver's seat. I'm sitting up with him. Okay, you eventually climb in. I assume you two get in the back. I was gonna set up front with them too. If there's you look up there. <laughs> you could try and squeeze. You can take the middle yeah, seat, Linton. Right. <laughs> I'll, I'll look. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 good now. it's pretty tight. Just to do uh, yeah, I'll go in the back. All right, you go in the back with the other two. Sorry, uh, yeah, it's the same wagon you rode in. There is kind of a, an inside bench that you assume he pulls out and kind of uses as a bed. Uh, pots and pans strung up, herbs hanging down. Uh, there's a couple tea lights on, um, and just other normal wares inside the wagon. Um, you take off? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, is there a rope? Is there a rope inside the wagon? The wagon lurches <laughs> as you're looking through the different drawers and stuff. I'll go ahead and roll for investigation. Um, the wagon whole thing lurches, all the pots and pans sway. Uh, you two kind of grab the walls uh, as the horse kind of snorts and takes off down this road. Uh, it, it was it was this way. It was rather big for this. But, um, Oh yeah, Janice inside. What did you do with yeah. Janice? That's why I'm looking for rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Janice yeah. is lying there on the floor. You're looking for oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. what did you get? Seven. Seven. Yeah, you oh, look yeah. around. You see like there's some different twine and stuff like that that he's used. Yeah. Uh, I, we already like. You see any rope? It's gonna wake up soon. Okay. Okay. I'll I'd rather not. Okay. You know, there's the rope that was used to pack the horse. Oh. Yes, we have a rope. It was used to tie up the horse. So. Okay. Um, how's your not doing these skills? Good. Alright. Uh, you wanna, you know. Just do we time up and you just cast sleep on him again? Well, I can't keep doing that the whole ride. <sighs> Alright. Sure. And then I time up, I guess. Knock out the okay. Uh, roll for a side of thing. Okay. Just don't kill him. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, you tie him up, you feel pretty comfortable with the knots. 
uh, that you tie it. It's not something that's going to keep them for long, but it might. Okay, I'll it say that. It won't that. keep them for long. Amadeus yeah, should, have, I mean, should can, be the one to do that, but... As long as he can't just, like, get up and throw hands. No. Okay, these, <laughs> they've started... Wait, you want me to tie them up? No, you're in the front. One, yeah, you started going. You don't even know what they're doing back there. Do you do you go this way or do you try to pull? This is the direction that you came from. Uh, this road, it's it's kind of a side road. It's rough. You don't really know what's up. We need to reverse, here. right? To go back to the main road? This is the way that we were oh, going. Amadeus, you need to reverse! This is the way we were going, right? This is the way that the wagon is facing. This is the way you came in. Um, but the road is rough here. And you gotta reverse. Was there, is there like another road? Or no, uh, it continues for a bit, as far as you can see. I can't reverse that goes back the other way. You just reversed the whole cart. What are you talking about? You just said we came in from this way. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you reverse and go. I'm saying, like, take the cart back there to the main road. This juts into camp. There's the main oh, road. Oh, you go back. And... There's a main road. Let's just keep going forward. Yeah, no, going. there's a main road that's bumpy, and he's ah, the way he's saying it. Go back. Go back. Yeah. There's a main road. You're in the back. <laughs> There's oh, a main is, road, just listen! Go forward. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I think we should go forward. We run into monsters. Okay. Women, you're tying, <laughs> up, you're tying with the Ennis. As you uh, are both back there, you're kind of like watching her do this as you continue forward for a bit. You don't get very far before you notice uh, the path becomes heavily overgrown up ahead. I told you, I idiot! I knew as you were going on the wrong I was telling you! I told you! I yell out the, I yell out the window. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you be as quiet? I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I People told you. You told me to go the wrong way. <laughs> All right. So what do you do? You are you're kind of backed up like this. Let's say you didn't get very far around this. Put it in reverse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you try just backing up the horse, like pulling back on the bridle? Oh, bad. Uh, is there enough room to turn around? You need a woman um, to drive this. It's it's gonna take you a bit. <laughs> you can roll for that. Go ahead and roll for animal handling. Yeah, that's a okay, yeah. You start to try and turn the horses. It's getting difficult. They're, they're my stuck animal amongst animal. their the different say, bridles. Can really and help. Well, you're, not there with me. Uh, you're holding the reins. So, unless he wants to take those reins. <laughs> right. right. Do you want to try this? <laughs> All right, the hand in the reins. Let me give it to try. The horses. Kind of pulling the wagon, you notice as they try and back up, they can only back up so far. The wagon doesn't want to back up with the horses. It's not like you can just put them in reverse and back. I'd up. like to just like like pull the horse so that it's like trying to turn so that it turns the entire wagon with us instead of back on it. It's going to be. With eight, eight. All right, not much better. You're you're trying to get these horses to turn. It's taking you a minute. Anna! <laughs> you hear this rocking and you swaying, the wagon kind of, and you notice that you're stopped. Okay. What? Why, I, I I knew I should have drove. What? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I get out. You all notice that these horses are are getting frustrated. They're they're neighing and. <laughs> Can I go sit down and say, yeah. let the woman drop it? Right. I have an 18 now. For what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to just continue to roll. Uh, <laughs> no, that's Can I take like it over from Amadeus? You lean your head out the window and you see that you're stopped. Here. The horses are now kind of at an angle facing towards a large okay. tree and underbrush. I'm going to get out. sideways in the road. I'm going to get out and grab the reins of the horses and guide them myself. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Uh, so roll for and run the wagon. You did a horrible job. Mate, that's not a good job. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, you're able to do that. The road is rough here. You get them positioned to where there's a clearing uh, before the tents. Uh, you're not going to get them turned full 360 here without some more time. Do you choose to ride them through camp, or what do you do? Show it. Okay. Well, you I'm start, the one holding the reins. You start riding them forward. It's fine. The horses begin to pick up as you uh, you carry. There's no way to try this. The lead <laughs> through camp. <laughs> this is a little bit quieter. That's the it's large right, tree. Yeah. You go under there. I'm gonna like walk behind the cart. Large branches kind of scrape against the wagon. <laughs> I'm assuming she's driving. You know? oh, I'm, uh, holding. She's, she's I'm pulling. pulling the horses. I'm making a lot of noise. You're saying all this? Like, you come up against 
the Visnani camp. You're scraping my rock. People still sleeping. People kind of lean up from sitting around the fire. The bonfire's still going. Others are still drinking. Some plucking at a mandolin. Um, they lean up and kind of look at you and just go, Mm. Let's put Giannis's head in the window going. so it looks like he's driving. What the hell? He's not the hair. Hair. He's like, what are you doing? What? We just keep walking because we're just going. What is Giannis? Is Giannis had too much to drink. He told us to drive. Through the night? Yeah, he said he wouldn't want the girl here, so he said he'd take her out. That does not sound like Giannis. I, like I said, he's pretty drunk, so. Roll for persuasion. Gosh, <laughs> oh, dang. That's not bad. 14. Okay. He kind of looks at you, puzzled. You see the branches scrape against the wagon. <laughs> Apparently the driver's drunk too. <laughs> oh, what's wagon? Right I'm taking all the pay off the wagon. What are you doing? Some idiot went the wrong way. It wouldn't have been much easier. There's still trees right there. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay. Yeah. Are we all pull it up around? <laughs> pull it up around. People start kind of standing up. Oh, who's outside the wagon right now? It's you, you. We're all outside. Oh, the wagon. we're all outside. <laughs> the wagon. <laughs> the they're just sitting on the wagon still, though. But yeah, oh, yeah, they're up front. Right. So. You don't have I them. Can't. I can't. <laughs> <have> them. <laughs> what is that? What do I do? I don't understand. Oh, we're out. We're out of camp. Oh, Keep going. <laughs> all right, we speed out of there. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm, at, I'm still at the front. Hey, where's Yannis? That's not Okay, I, we run back in. I run. Sleeping in the back. Some man goes, Yannis does not let anyone else drive his wagon. What we is going on go. here? All right. Who's <laughs> driving? All right, wait. Who, who is the guy who's just said that? Uh, it's kind of the, the larger set man that told you that story. In. He goes, Yannis does not let anyone else drive this wagon. What are you doing? I, I, I have an idea. It's well, usually at 30 feet of me. Yes. I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a bad idea. No, no, no. This is good. Does he have to roll for that? Uh, yeah, a wisdom saving throw. Of uh, what? Uh, wisdom. what is my name? Yeah, he loses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What is happening? What is this? <laughs> What is happening? The jazz is in the way. Take the one. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the car. Go. Get in the car. We are. It's a large commotion. People kind of poke their head outside the wagon. What is going on? But you start getting off down the road uh, before anyone, like a couple people you notice, kind of look after you. But uh, you don't really hear much else from them as uh, you take off down the road into the night. And right there is where we will take a break. You don't have to teach me that one, dude. <laughs> I thought that was something totally different. I'm like, oh, good. Okay, nah.